Language Element Overview Today's global world requires sites to support two or more languages. Therefore, we will learn how to translate this site into languages so visitors from different countries can use your site. Visitors see the current site language and switch to others using the language element. Usually, it is located in the header block at the top. Let's add this element. In the header, click on the round blue icon to open the Add panel. You see the header section highlighted. Click on the language element. Align element. Drag the language element and align it with the magnetic guides. To add the new site language, click the Add button in the Property panel. In the Add Language dialog, open the drop-down list, then click the letter to skip to the language group starting with that letter. For example, F. Select French. Click OK to complete. NicePage explains how to use the element by showing the best practice dialog. Click OK. Additionally, the pointer arrow and tooltip point to the language switcher, where you will switch the language for the first time. You see the French selected in the switcher. Click the UK flag icon to switch to English. Add elements to block. Click somewhere in block 1 below the header. Hold the ALT key and press the 2, T and B keys to add the heading 2 text and button elements. Translate elements. Switch to French at the top. Translate each text element into French. Translations are supported for the text elements, including the buttons and menu. Test. Switch back to English to test. You can move the languages by dragging the three-dot icon. Click on the language line to edit language name in the dialog. Remove the language by clicking the bucket icon. You can also use the menu to move, rename and change the language icon. You can change the layout, text and spacing between the language element items. Modify the height, making the language flags more visible, if needed. Publish or preview the page. Switch languages in preview. Click on the language flags to see different translations of your site. We have finished the lesson about translating sites and the language element. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. Thank you for watching.